perfect air, perfect comfort. Carrier. A case of mistaken identity turns pro wrestler Tyler Mayne into a wanted man. Power driving, Tyler! Next, VIP tonight on KPTV, Oregon's 12. Boy Furniture Gallery's High Five Challenge, a weekly game show featuring high school teams from throughout the Northwest. This week, it's LaSalle High versus Mountain View High. High Five is brought to you by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. We make the rooms that make a home. By Bridgetown Coffee, the cure for common coffee. By ESI Electro Scientific Industries. By Companion Pet Clinic, quality veterinary care at affordable prices. By Entertainment Publications, the no-risk fundraiser that practically sells itself. And now, once again, here's your host for High Five. It's Wayne Velagowski. Thank you, Michael Bailey, and welcome again, everybody, to another edition of the Lazy Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's High Five Challenge. I'm your host, Wayne Falagowski. Well, if you watched last week, you saw one of the most exciting matches in High Five history in eight years. This is the first time that both teams went like 35 questions in a row before someone got stumped. It was a great match. Now let's meet today two, two teams and see how they do. First off to my right, from LaSalle High School in Milwaukee, Oregon, let's hear it for the Falcons. Come on on, Falcons. <laughs> And off to my left, from Mountain View High School in Vancouver, Washington, let's hear it for the Thunder. Come on on, Thunder. Okay, let's check our first five categories for today. All right, we'll have potpourri, bodies of water, U.S. leaders, art, and comics. Let's go to that first category. All right, we'll start off with comics. Good luck to both teams. Here we go for 10 points. This famous character starred in Steamboat Willie, the first animated sound cartoon. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is correct. Yes, for 10 points. Very good. For 20 points, John regularly visits Dr. Liz Wilson, the veterinarian, in this comic strip. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. Quickly. Okay, LaSalle, three seconds. That is Garfield. Comics for 40 points. Betty and Veronica are two of the major characters in this comic strip. LaSalle. Okay, Evan. Uh, Archie. Archie is correct, yes, for 40 points. Here we go with 10 points. Identify the dog that stars in a comic strip with Mother Goose. LaSalle. Okay, Evan. Grim. Grim is correct. Very good for 10 points. And for 20 points, he is the son of Barney and Betty Rubble. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. Bam Bam. Bam Bam is correct. Very good for 20 points. Okay, let's go to another category. It's potpourri. For 20 points, an octogenarian is at least this age. LaSalle. Evan. 80. 80 years old or older. Very good. For 10 points, identify the Greek poet that shares his name with a cartoon father of three. LaSalle. Okay, Rob. Homer. Homer, very good. Yes. <laughs> Potpourri for 40 points. This European city has an ancient amphitheater called the Colosseum. LaSalle. Evan. Rome. Rome is correct for 40 points. Very good. <laughs> Potpourri for 10 points. A unit of information that is 8 bits long is referred to by this computer term. LaSalle. Evan. Byte. A byte. Very good for 10 points. <laughs> and potpourri for 20 points. Chalk, the familiar classroom tool, is primarily composed of this substance. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. Talc. That is incorrect, Mountain View. Okay, LaSalle, three seconds. Okay, Evan. Limestone. That is also incorrect. It is calcium carbonate, or shells of one-celled animals, is also acceptable. Okay, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll meet LaSalle after these messages. You stick around.
What you're searching for is there. Provided you know where to look. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Comfortably affordable, stylish home furnishings. It's been said, when you find something that fits, you've got to buy two. Pick a pair. Any two stylish Lazy Boy chairs, one low price. Now, only at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Electro Scientific Industries is a worldwide leader in high technology production equipment for the global electronics market. Chances are equipment manufactured by ESI played a part in the production of your cell phone, your pager, digital camera or computer. Now ESI wants to talk about your career upon graduation. With over 1,000 employees worldwide, ESI has a reputation for leading edge technologies and exceptional service. Submit your resume at ESI.com. Explore a world of opportunities. Contact ESI today. Quality veterinary care at affordable prices. That's the motto of Companion Pet Clinic, with offices throughout Oregon and Washington. We offer experienced, compassionate care at all of our facilities. Thanks for making Companion Pet Clinic the affordable choice for pet care for the past 20 years. Companion Pet Clinic, your full-service veterinary hospital. Keep your pet in the best of health. Look in the yellow pages for the Companion Pet Clinic nearest you. Experience Red Tail Golf Course in Beaverton. Breathtaking views, greens that run true to find the cup, where golfers search for birdies and birds search for prey. A pro shop stocked with the latest in golfing equipment. One of the largest selections of golf apparel in the Northwest, all priced right. Red Tail Golf Course in Beaverton, soon to boast one of the largest driving ranges in the country. Red Tail, it's a golfing experience you'll not soon forget. Thanks, everybody. Welcome back to the Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's High Five Challenge. The scores read right now LaSalle's in the lead with 2,110 points and Mountain View with 1,990. Before we go to the next three categories, Michael Bailey introduce the LaSalle Falcons from Milwaukee, Oregon. Here we go. This team profile is brought to you by HP, inventing new ways to live and work. And first up, meet senior Evan Ward, who recorded the highest score in school on the AMC match test two years running. He's in the Scholars Program at Reed College, and he likes to listen to and play music. Up next, senior Rob Weiss says his career goal is to find a career that he enjoys. He likes playing golf. His favorite hobbies are hockey and watching college football. Right now, meet senior Rob McDonough. His main ambition is to become an astronaut. He plays soccer, bowls, and is a member of the track squad. He enjoys music. And junior Ben Weaver is an honors student who's involved with drama. This future lawyer is active in his community, and he likes to listen to music, watch movies, and play golf. Sophomore Madison Bond hopes to become an artist. Madison is a first honor student who runs cross country in track and volunteers with loaves and fishes. And next, senior Ian Yates is a first honor student who plays soccer, bowls, and member of track squad. He's active in his church and he enjoys tie tie football. And finally, sophomore Dan Dinorch wants to be an archaeologist who enjoys bowling. Dan was Global Studies Student of the Year. And right now, here's Wayne Falagowski. Michael Bailey, a little applause for the teams. Okay. Okay, we'll meet Mountain View later on, but right now, let's go to another category. All right, it's bodies of water for 40 points. This U.S. river is known as the father of waters. Mountain View. Okay, Matt. Mississippi. The Mississippi is correct, yes, for 40 points. For 20 points, identify two of the three longest rivers in Africa. Mountain View. Okay, Matt. The Nile and Congo. That is correct. Very good. Yes, for 20 points. For the Niger. For 20 points, the Isthmus of Suez is between these two seas. LaSalle. Evan. The Mediterranean and the Red. Very good. Yes, for 20 points. Bodies of water for 10 points. This river drains most of the Yellowstone National Park. LaSalle. Okay, Rob. Missouri. That is incorrect, LaSalle. Okay, Mountain View, three seconds. It is the Yellowstone River. Bodies of water for 10 points. 
The Hudson River separates these two states. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. New York and New Jersey. You got it. Very good for 10 points. All right. Another category. U.S. leaders. For 20 points. The representative holding this position is third in the line of succession to the presidency. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. The Speaker of the House. You got it. Speaker of the House. <laughs> U.S. leaders for 10 points. Before Bill Clinton, this president was the last Democrat to serve as U.S. president. LaSalle. Okay, Rob. Jimmy Carter. I'm sorry, it's not the other Rob there. Okay, we're going to have to take the points away, LaSalle. Mountain View, three seconds. Okay, Matt. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is correct, yes, for 10 points. Sorry about that, but the wrong Rob answered. U.S. leaders for 10 points. John Ashcroft currently holds this position in the Justice Department. Mountain View. Okay, Matt. Attorney General. You got it, Attorney General. <laughs> for 20 points, John McCain is a senator from this U.S. state. LaSalle. Okay, Rob. Arizona. Arizona is correct, yes, for 20 points. And for 40 points, this man is the current chairman of the Federal Reserve. Mountain View Steel by LaSalle. Okay, now Madison for LaSalle is going to steal for the Falcons. Alan Greenspan. That's correct. Greenspan is correct for 40 points. Another category, please. Art. For 40 points, most of Grant Wood's paintings depict life in this Midwest state. Now, who would know that? I wouldn't even know that either. Iowa. Iowa. I guess if you're, if you're from Iowa. Art for 10 points. Michelangelo is famous for having painted the ceiling of this chapel. LaSalle. Okay, Evan. The Sistine Chapel. Sistine Chapel is correct. Yes, very good. Art for 20 points. La Giaconda is another name for this famous Leonardo da Vinci painting. Mountain View. Okay, Matt. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, yes, for 20 points. Much easier to say Mona Lisa. Art for 10 points. This term is used for art that has little or no resemblance to objects in the real world. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. Abstract. Abstract is correct, yes, for 10 points. And for 20 points, this artist's paintings graced the cover of the Saturday Evening Post 317 times between 1916 and 1969. Mountain View. Okay, Matt. Quickly. Sorry. Okay, LaSalle, three seconds. Okay, Rob. Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell is correct for 20 points. Very good. Okay, it's time for a break. When we come back, we'll meet Mountain View after these messages. Stick around. Kids, here's a be safe message from me, Wendell, and my friend Al. Well, I'm making a pizza commercial. You'd be great in it. Here's my business card. It'd be really fun, and you can make a lot of money. How about if I take you over here and just take a few pictures of you? Should you go with this person? No way! If someone offers you presents or money, don't take them. Just run away. That's a good way to be safe. To learn more, get your free be safe video starring me and Al at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Does your future include a satisfying career with good pay? Clark College offers programs to prepare for employment in more than 100 technical and professional careers. Programs like culinary arts, dental hygiene, nursing, and microcomputer support. Clark College's academic transfer degree guarantees placement at many regional universities. Scarpelli Hall serves as the high-tech hub for a campus network of more than 1,000 computers. Small classes, low tuition rates. Your future begins at Clark College today. As presenting sponsor of High Five, Bridgetown Coffee congratulates all High Five students for their academic prowess. Alice. Tonto. Tonto. Very good. However, Bridgetown Coffee also recognizes the value of students within our communities. Next up, we welcome Junior Robel Baru. Robel enjoys reading, writing, playing sports, and video games. He is a peer mediator. Bank Bridgetown Coffee is proud to be presenting sponsor of the Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's High Five Challenge. Bridgetown Coffee is also proud of what separates them from the rest of the pack. High standards, uncompromising quality control, exceptional customer service.
As one of the country's premier micro-roasters of specialty coffees, Bridgetown Coffee believes in the value of recognizing outstanding achievements of tomorrow's leaders today. Well, we have a good match going on right now. LaSalle has 2,200 points, and Mountain View not too far behind with 2,110 points. Before we give them a chance to catch up, Michael Bailey introduced the Thunder from Mountain View, Vancouver, Washington. Absolutely. Here we go. This team profile brought to you by Sunrise Bagels. First up, senior Matt Spencer wants to become a journalist or critic. He is in running start and knowledge bowl, and he likes to listen to rock and roll and to write. Future astronomer Ryan Merchel is in both Knowledge Bowl and Science Bowl. When he's not bowling, he enjoys tabletop wargaming and watching classic science fiction movies. Up next, junior Chris Brown scored 1580 on the SATs and 5 on the AP Physics Test. Chris is in marching band, active in church activities, and he likes the number three and a half. <laughs> Senior Eric Parsons is an honors student and team captain of Science Olympiad. He's on the chess club. He likes to read, play computer games, and watch anime. Up next, senior Daniel Rowe has been recognized for excellence in math for two years. He's a uh, treasurer of National Honor Society. This past year, he attended the Harvard Model Congress in San Diego. And senior Rebecca Stecker spent the summer at Stanford as a computer camp counselor. She is in running start. She is active in her church, and she enjoys science fiction gaming. And finally, sophomore Jeff Yuan is a straight-A student and member of Knowledge Bowl and also involved with Science Olympiad. He plays violin with the Metropolitan Youth Symphony. And right now, back to Wayne Falagowski. Oh, You've wait a minute. got one more to go I there, Michael. Did. Sorry about that. Senior Tricia Smith says math is her favorite subject. She's going to be in the Science Olympiad, and she wants to be a chemist. Last but not least, I'm sorry. Back That's to Wayne. That's okay. At least you got her in there. Yeah. Okay, a big round of applause for Mountain View. Okay. Let's check our next five categories. All right, we'll have our mystery category, Easy Math, 2001, Trivia in France. Let's go to the next one. Easy Math, let's hope, for 20 points. Identify within one the number of feet in a phantom. LaSalle. Evan. Six. Six is correct, right on the button. Very good. For 10 points, 130 is 130% of this number. LaSalle. Evan. 100. 100, very good, for 10 points. For 20 points, identify the area of a square with a parameter of 40 centimeters. LaSalle. Evan. 100. 100? 100 square centimeters. Very good. Yes, 100 square centimeters. For 10 points, this type of angle measures greater than zero and less than 90 degrees. LaSalle. Evan. Acute. Acute. 10 points. Why didn't it surprise me when I knew it was Evan? He's bringing in all, all of these. Easy math for 40 points. On a map, when 300 miles are represented by 4 inches, this is the number of miles indicated by 1 half inch. Mountain View. Okay, Chris. Um, Quickly. I don't know. Okay, LaSalle, three seconds. Okay, Evan. 37 and a half. Very good, yes, 40 points, 37 and a half. You got all five of those. Let's go to another category. All right, 2001, Evan would like to stay on easy math, but we cannot do that again. For 10 points, in July 2001, former President Clinton opened an office in this New York City borough. LaSalle. Evan. Harlem. Harlem, correct, yes, for 10 points. That didn't even have a number to it, and you got it. For 10 points, in August 2001, this pop singer was hospitalized for an emotional and physical breakdown shortly before the release of her Glitter album. LaSalle. Okay, Rob. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey is, yes, for 10 points. 20 points. He won the Tour de France for the third time in a row in July 2001. LaSalle. Okay, Rob. Lance Armstrong. That's correct, Armstrong. Again, for 20 points, the movie AI, which stands for this, was released in 2001. Mountain View. Okay, Chris. Artificial intelligence. That's correct. Artificial intelligence. And for 40 points, in 2001, the International Olympic Committee voted to give the 2008 Summer Olympics to this Asian city. 
LaSalle. Evan. Beijing. Beijing, yes, for 40 points. Very good. Let's go to another category. All right, trivia. For 10 points. This term is used for the mass migration to California that began in 1849. LaSalle. Ian. Gold Rush. Gold Rush, yes, for 10 points. For 10 points, this piece in checkers can jump other pieces in any direction. LaSalle. Okay, Evan. King. The King is correct, yes. For 40 points, listen up. Identify the two prime numbers that fall between 21 and 30. LaSalle steal by Mountain okay, View. Okay, now Daniel's going to steal it from poor Mountain View. Okay. 23 and 29? That is correct, 23 and 29. And I believe Evan was trying to ring in on that one and you stole it from him. Trivia for 20 points. These men and their flying machine received patent number 821,393. LaSalle. Evan. The Wright Brothers. The Wright Brothers. Very good. For 20 points, the first recording of the human voice, Mary Had a Little Lamb, was made by this man. Mountain View Steel oh, by now, LaSalle. Steel by Dan for LaSalle. Okay, Dan, he's coming around. Edison. That is correct. Thomas Edison. Very good. One more category, then a break. The country of France. For 20 points, identify the three colors on the French flag. LaSalle. Evan. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Very good. Yes. For 20 points, a famous, famous pen maker is named after this Alpine mountain, the tallest mountain in France. LaSalle. Okay, Evan. Blanc. That is correct. Mont Blanc. Very good. For 20 points. For 40 points, identify France's largest port, which is also its second largest city. LaSalle. Okay, Rob. Nice. That is, say it again. Nice. That is incorrect, LaSalle. Okay. Mountain View, three seconds. That is Marseille or Marseille. Either one? Marseille. Marseille, okay. France for 20 points, or for 10 points. Victor Hugo wrote a novel in 1831 which depicts Quasimodo, who lived in this Parisian cathedral. Mountain View. Okay, Matt. Notre Dame. That is correct, the Cathedral of Notre Dame. And for 10 points, the designer of this French landmark designed the framework for the Statue of Liberty as well. LaSalle. Okay, Evan. The Eiffel Tower. You got it, the Eiffel Tower. Way to go, okay. It's break time again. When we come back, we'll find that mystery category after these messages. Take the 10% challenge. Now through October, reduce your electricity use by 10% or more compared to the same period last year, and we'll give you a credit on your bill equal to 10% of the cost of the electricity. Here's how you can save. Reduce oven use. Use your microwave or barbecue. Turn off computers, monitors, and printers when not in use. Wash clothes in cold water and wash only full loads. Remember, it pays to save, so take the 10% challenge. Clark Public Utilities, providing reliable, friendly service at an affordable price. Hi, I'm Don Jensen, president of Bridgetown Coffee. Playing golf in a scramble takes a lot of teamwork. The High Five Challenge is also about teamwork. Bridgetown Coffee, along with our many business partners, would like to salute all High Five teams for a job well done. High Five is about kids working in teams, not gangs. That's as refreshing as a great cup of Bridgetown Coffee. High Five, it's about time. Looking for that look? Richard Herrera About Hair is a full-service salon in downtown Portland. Richard Herrera has studied under such mentors as Vidal Sassoon and Joe DiRocco. At Richard Herrera, we see more than just a haircut. We see a change that brings confidence. And let's face it, confidence is the key to success. Richard Herrera stylists blend artistic ability, communication, and service to accomplish the look you want. Richard Herrera About Hair, 11th and Southwest Main in downtown Portland. Always convenient free parking. What if shopping for home furnishings felt less like shopping and more like being at home? You know, no pressure, no rush, no disruptions, for the most part. Unlike other stores, at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, we know that to be truly comfortable with your furniture, 
you need to be comfortable with where you buy it. Thanks for staying with us here on the Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's High Five Challenge. The scores read right now, LaSalle's in the lead with 2,450 points, and Mountain View Thunder has 2,140 points. Before we go to that last category, Michael Bailey, the prizes, please. As always, all students from today's winning team each received two admissions to Wild Waves and Enchanted Village located in Federal Way, Washington. Featuring a 24,000 square foot wave pool, giant water slides, and two dozen amusement rides. All students and coaches from both teams received four free Hollywood video rentals where all movies, including new releases, rent for five days. Students from today's runner-up team received two admissions to the Enchanted Forest south of Salem, Oregon, experienced the biggest log ride in the Northwest, the Fantasy Fountains Water Light Show, and more. And both of today's coaches received commemorative high-five wristwatches provided by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries and Bridgetown Coffee. Following regular season play, all students and coaches on the eight runner-up teams each receive a lunch cruise on the Portland Spirit, the Northwest premier dinner ship. And for the two teams that make the finals, all students, along with their parents and both coaches and other special high-five guests, receive a private cruise aboard the 75-foot luxury yacht Willamette Star. All schools that qualify for post season play receive a $300 scholarship provided by Par Lumber and Willamette Industries. And once again, here's Wayne Falagowski. Thank you, Michael Bailey. Now, if you're sitting at home saying, how do I get my high school involved on the High Five Challenge? All you have to do is go on to our worldwide website at high, H-I-G-H dash five, F-I-V-E dot com. Not only do we have information on the show, we have it streaming video every week so you can watch the last show of the week. We have information on our staff. We have information on how High Five started. All the information you ever want, plus how to sign out your school up for next season. Now, let's go to our final mystery category for today. All right, it's fruits and vegetables. Now, all point values are doubled at this point. That means that we have two 20s, two 40s, and an 80. And believe it or not, even though there's a big gap in between the scores last year, one team came from 200 points down in the last category and actually won. So it's not impossible, okay? So here we go with fruits and vegetables for 40 points starting out. When purchasing spears of this vegetable, you should look for tightly closed green tips. We'll sell a steal by Mountain View. Okay, Daniel for Mountain View is going to steal for his side. Asparagus? Asparagus is correct, yes, for 40 points. Very good. I also should point out that this year we have eight teams going into the playoffs plus two wild card draws, so this year we will have ten playoff teams. For 20 points in fruits and vegetables, varieties of this vegetable have pods that are eaten in the same way as green beans. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. Brussels sprouts. That is incorrect, Mountain View. Okay, LaSalle, three seconds. Okay, Evan. Peas. Peas is correct, yes, for 20 points. For 40 points, identify a fruit that has a zest that is graded for flavoring. LaSalle. Okay, Evan. Lemon. That is correct. Lemon, orange, grapefruit, or lime, or any citrus fruit. For 20 points, Thailand is the leader in the production of this fruit. Hawaii is a close second. Mountain View. Okay, Ryan. Pineapple. Pineapple is correct. Yes, for 20 points. Very good. And here we go with 80 points. Listen up. Of all the major vegetables, this vegetable contains the most vitamin A, which promotes eye health. Let's have a steal okay, Mountain View. Okay, Daniel, Mountain View. Final steal, final question. Carrot. Carrot is correct for 80 points. Very good. Nice comeback. All right, that means Mountain View ended up at 2,260. LaSalle, 2,510. Today's winner, the team from LaSalle. A big round of applause for both teams. They did an excellent job. We'll see you next week right here on the High Five Challenge. Tell your friends and neighbors to watch. And God bless our kids. So long, everybody. Way to go. Three months of bloody slaughter, and what have we got to show for it? It's time to...